The government is mulling to introduce flexible price ceilings depending on price input factors. As an example, the price of chicken would depend on the price of corn, water and equipment for farming. We asked economist Dr. Carmelo Ferlito on whether this method is feasible to ensure food security. If you are in the market of raw materials, okay, you go to buy, in example, corn, but when you buy corn, you will accept a certain price for corn because you expect the final price of chicken to give you a profit over the cost of that raw materials. So the government is thinking like if consumer prices are a function of input prices, but it's actually the other way around. Input prices are determined by expectations on future consumer prices. So it are based on the expectations that entrepreneurs have with regard to their production process. And with that expectations in hand, they go to buy the input. So uh, you enter a vicious circle, so you will have at the end uh, no actual prices working in the system because it will be just a figure determined by some bureaucrat and not an actual price emerging by the interaction of supply and demand. And if you don't get a market price, you will mess up all production decisions because production decisions will be based on wrong signals. And paradoxically, you can get in the market products that the market don't want and what actually the market wants is not produced.